Today I'm going to show you guys how to use this Samsung VS70. Hey the Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, so I've got this cordless vacuum from Samsung. That's right, totally cordless, which is amazing. So let me show you guys how to use it, go through some of the basic functions and features, etc, etc, etc. Okay. Now I've already done the unboxing video for this bag. If you want to check that out, top left of your screen. Sorry, top right of your screen. Now a lot of these cordless bags uh, are very interchangeable. They got these little locking clips here. You know, push the button and it pops off. And here's the actual full bag right here. So here's the vacuum controls. You know, the canister. I mean, it, it turns on from right here. Which means there's these little simple accessories that come with it, like these dusting brush right here. And then you got a portable, very powerful dust buster. Okay, sucks up your mess, you dust your stuff, you're like, oh wait, my drapes are kind of tall. I mean, personally I could use it like this and do drapes. What if you're short or your drapes really tall? Well, just pop the tube off, leave the power head down below, snap this on, and boom. Now you can hit your drapes, your blinds, heck, you, you got your... Uh, Cold air return vent, I'm sealing for the heat and AC. I'll dust that off, because I know that puppy's getting dirty, right? Alright, and it's also got you know the little crevice tool to come with it. Now this Samsung model, I've also got a Sharp, which I'm re currently reviewing at the same time. This one's interesting, let me take these a little closer. These little accessories are also extendable. Now you see how you got all the bristles out there, but they're kind of like just all full duster mode. But what if we just wanted to more just kind of scrape on the uh, on the floor there and clean it up. So we got so the bristles are pulled back. Now it's like right there. So if you maybe just want to, you know, really get to the dust, maybe spill something on the floor. The crevice tool, also extendable. Wow, kind of weird. Haven't like totally used these a whole lot to see how cool that is. You know, this is more like, oh, well, it's kind of cool, but you know, never really use it or, or not. But I, it seems like I would. You know, getting in those couch cushions, you know, extend that might be really cool. So let me show you how easy to use it is on, on the main part, the floors, because that's what we really bought it for. We didn't buy it this expensive vacuum so we can, you know, dust our drapes. We want to vacuum the floor. Now, like uh, your drills and other power tools like that, Samsung does have a removable battery pack. Okay, so you can snap it off, snap on another one, and keep going. Now, as far as runtime goes, of course, it depends on if you have it on low, medium, high for the vacuum settings. Um, but it, it's generally about enough to do 1,400, 1,500 square foot area, okay? Because uh, it's powerful enough, you don't have to go really slow. It's actually, I found it to be more powerful than my corded vac, my old corded vac, okay? So here's the control panel, real simple. Power on, it's mid, uh, mid power, minimum, and you got the max. You're definitely gonna be burning some power when you do that, okay? So the vacuum is pretty simple. And it's really light and flexible. Okay, you can get around your animals if you're causing all your hair problems. You know, under furniture, you are going to have to kind of, you know, get down on your, on your knee. But it is flexible and maneuverable enough to do that. Okay, now what about the canister? What about dumping this guy? Okay. Because none of these cordless canisters have very much room. This one's not bad, but you see you got the max line right here. And you really want to follow that because when your stuff starts packing up around here, you're going to lose a lot of section. It's also going to make it harder to clean out. But let me show you how to do that. Now this one here, there's no trap door or anything like that, like on my shark. You just take the whole canister off. So there's going to be a release button right here. You're going to push that, kind of pull it down and out. All right, Not too hard at all, really. Okay. Here, you're going to grab the top and just kind of unscrew it and lift up, okay? And you're going to dump it out, okay? Now, there is a little center uh, cylinder there that this is going to go over, so kind of make sure to line that up. I know this one here, when you put it back on, you know, you're going to want to line it up with this little intake chute here kind of whip it back and forth. There is a little latch right here along with that locking button that will catch there. 
but you know, there you go. Now, some of you people are like, well, what if I want to clean this more and like really wash it out? Okay, cool, cool. This one's actually designed to be submersible. Okay, so you can just take this, drop it in the sink of soapy water. There is a little HEPA, HEPA filter right here, which you really just, you, there's like a little, little ring here. You can just stick your finger underneath it, pull it straight up. And then you can wash all this, just drop it right in. Don't even have to worry about not getting water in a certain spot. Just drop it right in and you're good to go. Okay, this goes back in. There is a, a way it goes. You see this little notch there. We've got the four notches, big, big little you know ones, but they got this one here, lines up with a little button. Okay, you line that up, snap, you know, just push it down, it doesn't really snap. And again, just line up the chute here. We do that. There we go. We're all lined up. Putting it back on. All right, these little clips down here are actually spring loaded, so you don't have to do this perfect lineup thing. Just get it kind of lined up. Okay, I'll show you that way. Get the button, get the button lined up. And there, just make sure it's snapped in all the way. The bottom should be snapped in here. This button should be snapped in there, and we're all good to go. All right, now this is not my first use, this is like my second use, but this video is for your guys' first use, so I'm gonna show you how to use it. So you're like, oh, now that I get out of the box, what do I do? Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please share it, please subscribe to my channel, check out my website, lots more videos right there and resources. Do have Amazon links, description down below for this vac if you decide you like it, you wanna get it yourself. And as always, thanks again for watching.